What up? It's Jake One. I'm back with another Behind the Beat. I know it's been a long time. Um, this one is for Larry June's song Ice Coffee um, off the Orange Print album, um, which came out a couple months ago. Um, so this record really came about um, one day on IG. It just shows you how much like IG affects the way producers uh, connect with people and get to artists. Um, I got hip to Larry June from a bunch of my friends. Uh, shout out Mario, shout out Dame. Um, <laughs> um, they were telling me I need to work with him. So I listened to, I want to say it was the tape with Harry Fraud and, I, and it just, I just loved it. It was probably my favorite thing that came out. Maybe that was last year. Um, so I just had posted on my IG one day on the story and uh, his engineer Todd, Larry's engineer Todd uh, was like, yo man, you know, Send, send me some beats, man. We definitely want to work with you. So I sent him, I don't know, maybe like 18 beats or whatever. And then um, he ended up using a couple on the tape before, which I don't remember what that album was called. Maybe Numbers. Um, <laughs> but there was uh, two songs on there. One was called Tangible Thoughts and another one was called uh, Just Me and You. So, uh, you know, we're connected. I'm sending him beats. Um, he picks this uh, beat for iced coffee, um, and it was something I had just made at the time. So it was kind of crazy to see like me make a beat, and then a month, month and a half is out. So um, it's just really dope. I'm a fan. Um, it's cool to see stuff like this happen organically. No pun intended. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna break down how I made the beat. Um, it's it's a little different. It's a little interesting. Um, it's, it's funky. I feel like it's a, it's an interesting, like uh, mix of like my hip hop style and kind of what I do with tuxedo. So, um, here we go. So with this one, I started, uh, with an, with the idea I actually did for, uh, like an early tuxedo track. Um, and I took it and, like slowed it down a lot and stretched it time stretched it and uh kind of took some of the chords I wanted and uh you know kind of turned it into more like a hip-hop joint so so it really started with these three chords right here So we got just the main loop. Uh, I added a little kick and snare on there. Uh, quantize the kick and snare because the, the loop is like dragging a little bit but I kind of like the bounce of it I'm gonna shift the loop actually just a little more um next thing I added was this uh percussion uh thing that was on uh my boy B Butcher's kick shout out to B Butcher um I think this is on uh, it's on filth or one of them um anyways b butch is making some of my favorite kids i've been using his his drums a lot um so yeah pick those up so this this little percussion thing is really in the cut it's really in the cut
think it, you know, it's a bit lower probably in the mix. Um, Next thing I used was, it was another percussion thing uh, that I got from another dope producer, uh, uh, the homie The Count. Um, he had sent me a couple of his kits, and um, I chopped this up and kind of made it fit with what I already had. Um, um, yeah, just more texture in there, gradient it up a little bit. Next thing I think I put in there was this big old 808, uh, which I think is a Southside 808. I don't know. I got it from one. I don't remember. Somebody sent me this, one of the homies. Sometimes I'll hit one of the young homies up like, man, can I get the uh, the starter kit to make trap beats? And then they send me <laughs> this kind of stuff. So with this, uh, what I was really trying to do, it's, I've been trying to do this a lot more in a lot of the newer beats I've been doing, is trying to combine the 808 bottom with the actual bass line that, that provides the melodic thing I'm looking for with bass lines, um, but not having them compete and having them come together as one. Um, so yeah, I kind of placed it in a couple of parts. So we got the 808 in there. Um, I really love uh, <clears throat> how my boy Todd, uh, who engineered this, uh, I love how he blended the 808 with the actual bass line because I feel like it was a lot smoother than probably how my, my demo was, my two-track. Um, so shout out to Todd for that. So this is the bass sound. This is Moog Source sound that I've used on a bunch of records, Rick Ross, Money Dance, uh, some other ones off top, I don't know off the top of my head, but uh, it's definitely like a go-to for me um, whenever I'm looking for that. Um, so yeah, I kind of just placed it in some parts where it was actually open and could fit a bass line. So that's really like the main, main part of the beat. The last thing I threw on there with these vocals that uh, I pitched around to kind of make fit. Um, some Kind of like what I did with like Loaded Basses and uh, Chance the Rapper, Acid Rain. It's just another thing to like, uh, you know, it's like, I feel like, you know, people have their like producer tag. There's certain things I do in a beat. I feel like if you really pay attention, like, oh, no one else is doing that. That's probably Jake, so. This is one of, if you hear some random vocals coming in there that the sound chopped up, it's probably me. <laughs> um, I, I've done it a lot of times at this point, so we'll see if people are paying attention. So yeah, that's that's pretty much the beat. There's also an intro part that I did uh, that I just took another part of this uh, other jam I did. 
and just really time stretched it crazy. So I sequenced that. And that's pretty much it. Larry June, Ice Coffee, Jake One Behind the Beat. Like, subscribe, uh, share, buy kits at Snare Jordan, um, all that. Peace.